Hey, so what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm doing this completely random video that is going to be a commentary here on the side channel, because I've been doing a lot of these just completely random commentaries that I don't feel like I'm going to put on the main channel, but I'm going to be talking to you all about, and I actually held off on this a little bit because I wanted to make sure, you know, I had everything in order, but I'm going to talk to you all about, you know, why I got a second PS4 and the good deal I got on it, because I was actually pretty excited, so... First off, why the hell did I get a second PS4? Well, right now I actually have multiples of all the next-gen systems, or current-gen systems, the 8th generation of systems at this time. Uh, I have a few Xbox Ones because I got, you know, my original one on day one, uh, and then the other ones I was able to get for really cheap, like broken console only and everything, and I was able to repair. Uh, for the Wii U, I ended up getting a second Wii U, mostly because the second one I picked up was exploitable, uh, so I'm going to be, you know, running homebrew, some other things like that on there, which I still need to do, I just have not done. And then the PS4 was the last system that I was going to be getting a multiple of. Now, some people might be saying, oh, you don't need multiple systems, blah, blah, blah. Eh, you don't need them, but, I mean, historically, I've had multiple systems of, you know, other generations as well, too. Normally, what I do, I pick them up for really cheap, uh, broken, and then I'm able to refurbish them, repair them, all that good stuff. And sometimes I sell them off, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what happens. But... What ended up happening with this right here was, see, I was wanting to get another PS4 because I'm going to be moving here pretty soon, and I'm actually moving to a two-bedroom apartment, and with that, I am wanting to set up a PS4 in the living room, but I also want one for my office, and my ideal setup is going to be, I'm going to have one of every system that I need in my office uh, that will be, you know, for recording gameplay with my computer and all, so I have my computer there, and I'll probably put, you know, like a PS3, 360, um, an Xbox One, Wii U, and a PS4 there, and then in my living room, room, I'll have the other systems in there, and then probably in my bedroom, really what I have right now in my bedroom here at this current apartment is I have one of my Xbox Ones in there, you know, for Netflix, YouTube, most of those things, and occasionally if I want to play a game, but I don't even know if I have any games installed on it, to be honest. <laughs> so this is what happened, right? Uh, I was looking around, and I was kind of looking for a PS4. My thing was, I didn't want to pay more than $200 for PlayStation 4. Now, there are plenty of good deals right now, so if you don't have a PS4, there's plenty of great deals out there, and I honestly thought of doing that, and some people, you know, they might be saying, you know, I'm either I'm broke or I'm spending too much money because I have all these extra systems. I, I don't think I'm either, honestly, uh, but I'll put it like this without trying to brag, and I'm, I'm really not trying to, but I really did contemplate just paying $300 for a new system because the new PS4s, in case you don't know, uh, they are all matte black instead of glossy and matte black, which I'd rather have a matte black system. They are quieter, which is a big positive for me, and they also run cooler, and they use less energy at the same time. So the new PS4s, the brand new ones that you'll pick up now, are better than the other PS4s that had come out, so like the one I had. So I honestly thought of it, and even I thought of picking up the Star Wars bundle, because I said, you know, I don't have Battlefront, and the old Star Wars games seem cool. And I would be guaranteed to get a new matte black PS4. So eh, $300 maybe, but... I kind of just stuck to it, and I said, I don't want to pay more than 200 And I actually almost tried to, because I was negotiating a few places online, and there was one guy who was trying to sell a PS4 console only for $250. And I just hit him up. I'm like, dude, I'll pay you 200 plus shipping, because the cables don't matter to me, the controller does not matter to me, but right now, you're asking 250 for a PS4 alone? If I spent $50 more, I get a brand new PS4 with games that is better than the model that you're currently selling. And he pretty much said, he's like, well, you know, I appreciate it, but the lowest I'll go is 230 shipping, uh, unless you want to do 200 and you're local for pickup. I'm like, I'm not local for pickup, and I'm not paying more than 200 so thank you very much. I really hope you sell your system. But somebody else ended up hitting me up, and they were saying, this is on, like, a uh, buy-sell trade form, and they said, hey... I saw that you're looking for a PS4. I have one with a few games for $250 that I'm willing to sell. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm interested. That's more than I want to pay. So I checked it out, right? And it was a pretty good deal. This PS4 I have right here is uh, one year old. This person bought it in December of 2014. They're a college student. Super nice guy. I ended up talking with him quite a bit. And they said that really they bought the PS4 and the past year they just haven't really used it that much because they got busy with college and they just got a gaming PC. So they don't really have a need for the PS4 anymore. So the PS4 has been used for less than a year at the time I bought it. And this guy was selling it with the controller, cables, and uh, even extra stuff as well too. But he also included three games, which were Fallout 4, uh, The Witcher 3, and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. All pristine condition, complete in box, and everything. So I arranged it with him and everything, and I said, yes, I will 
pay you upright right now. Now, can that include shipping? He didn't want to include shipping. So I had to pay $265 because I had to pay shipping on my end, and we had to arrange a little bit because he was worried about how to ship it. And I said, yo, dude, I've done this multiple times. I don't need the PS4 box. I don't need it. Just pack up everything really well and really snug in a large size USPS box and send it over. Because he said not, not everything fit in a medium size box, which I don't know how. Uh, but whatever. I told him the, the larger 8 box should be this much. I'll go ahead and pay you. We paid it off, right? And my intent was, I just won the PS4, and I was going to sell off the games. Now, some people might say, why are you trying to sell off the games? Well, here's the thing with this. All those games, although they are excellent games, they're all games that I already own. I own Metal Gear Solid 5 on PS4. I don't need a second copy of it. And along with Fallout 4 and Witcher 3, I bought both of those games on PC. And I prefer them on PC because those are huge open world titles and I've seen how they handle on the PlayStation 4. And Fallout 4 handles better on PS4 than Xbox One, but I believe Witcher 3 does not handle as well on PS4 compared to Xbox One. But either way, whatever console you want to play on it, it doesn't play as satisfactory as I'd like it to be. So there's a reason why I picked up both those games on PC. So my intent was I was going to get the system, sell off the games, and that would be it. So what happened was I actually already did a pre-sale with one of my good friends. Now, I told him when I got this deal, and he won a Metal Gear Solid 5 because he had just sold it recently. So I said, okay, you know what? You're a good friend of mine. I'll sell it to you for 20 bucks. I'll let you know when I get it. Now, get this, right? So when the system comes in, I check out everything. Everything looks pristine. And I messaged the seller. I said, everything works. Everything is pristine. Awesome trading with you. It was great. Uh, I ended up posting the other games, Fallout 4 and Witcher 3 online. And nobody, it was just like the local buy-sell trade area here, nobody was biting on them. But at the same time, this is also during finals week. Now what happened was I was able to sell all three of the games in one hour, which I thought was great. So while I was still in bed today, I ended up getting a text message from a guy who said, Hey, I saw your deal for Fallout 4 and Witcher 3. Will you take $60 for the pair? And I said, you know what? Sure. Because right now, honestly, as I said, I'm not too worried about it. And I still thought that, that was a fair deal. And I kind of also padded the numbers a little bit on the sales because I knew people were going to try and negotiate down. So originally I'd asked for 45 on Fallout 4 and uh, 25 on Witcher 3, but I also knew if somebody wanted a pair, I was going to sell it to them for like 65 or 60. I had no issue with that. So I arranged with this guy, I met up with him, we did the trade, shook hands, that was it. Had 60 bucks in my pocket, two games less. Came back, check messages from my friend, right? Because I asked him, we were supposed to do this deal for Metal Gear Solid 5 yesterday. He completely went off the grid yesterday. He hits me up, and he actually owes me some money as well, too, from because uh, he works over at GameStop. Uh, but he owes me some money for a trade that he did. And he said, hey, dude, listen, um, I'll get you back today. I'll give you the trade credit you need, but I'm going to hold off on Metal Gear Solid 5. And it's like, it's one of those things, you know, I love the guy, but I'm like, you know... We, we had this deal in mind for about two weeks. Granted, as I said, when I first did the deal with this guy, th my friend was the first guy I hit up with this offer, and he said yes. Then, when I got the PS4 in stock, I got it on Tuesday, and I was going to sell it to my friend Metal Gear Solid 5. I was going to sell it to him on Wednesday. He hits me up and says, hey, I'm not getting paid until Friday. And I said, okay, cool. He didn't say anything to me on Friday, and then today is Saturday, and he said, okay, I can't buy it. So I'm like, damn it, now I'm going to have to work to sell this. Guess what? I posted it up in a buy-sell trade. If not five minutes, within 10 minutes, somebody messaged me and they asked if they could buy it. So I ended up selling that for 25 And my logic was I looked at everything and I didn't think it was that bad. So, you know, all together, I got $85 for these games that I was not going to play. Uh, these people were happy to take these deals. And the way I priced them out was... I had looked at how much each one was selling new for. So I looked, and the cheapest I could get all three of these games new at different stores was $130. Granted, these were all used copies of the games, and I got $85 for all three of them, and I sold them within an hour. One of them, I was just able to walk over and meet someone. The other one, I had to drive about two minutes away. So all in all, you know, I kind of looked at it and I deducted it. I got this PS4, pristine condition PS4, for $180 with a controller and with the cables and everything like that. It doesn't come with the PS4 box, but again, I don't need the PS4 box. So to me, that was pretty well worth it. So I was able to get a complete working PS4 
and I was able to get it for less than I originally wanted to spend because originally I was going to spend 200, got it for 180. My only vice is that I was really wanting to get one of the new PS4s, but eh, granted, maybe, you know, in a few years I could pick up one of those matte black ones that's quieter and everything. This one will do for now, so I'm good to go on that. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you very much for watching this long commentary. I appreciate all of you watching.